All right, we're going to look at Flash on the HTC Hero. You can see in the background we've got the HTC website, and it uses Flash. Um, you can see in the background there's some animations. We're going to try a few different websites on the Hero uh, that have Flash in them and see how it performs. So first we'll try HTC.com and see how this little Flash uh, animation or slideshow goes. Let's zoom out. Watch it load. And you can see that little ball right there. That means that Flash is loading. So it looks like the website loaded because we don't see the green status bar. But because of that, uh, that little sand ticking thing, whatever, whatever you call it. And there we go, Flash. That looks really good. That does. And can we zoom while we're watching? We sure can. Wow, that's great. If there's a site it should work on, it's probably this one. But that's really neat. So there it is. There's Flash on HTC.com using the HTC Hero. Um, Alright, on to the next site. What do we got? Um, the NVIDIA site, which you can see has some neat little uh, features on here. So the NVIDIA Speak Visual website appears not to work and asks us to download Flash. Uh, requires Adobe Flash Player 9 Plus. You can download it by visiting here, which we know we won't be able to do. So right now it looks like we're one for two. Then we'll try out agencynet.com. I just picked a random number of uh, of websites that had Flash. You can see you can select different like rooms in this little board um, and highlight over them. You can go down to the client list and choose that and it will bring stuff up. You can do a bunch of random stuff I guess. Oh whoa. So Agency Net's website didn't error out, but it looks like they've got a mobile version of the website going, so we didn't even get to try out the, the uh, Flash, uh, which is probably smart for them because their traffic is actually getting something of importance and value um, rather than just erroring out. It might have worked on this, I don't know, but we can't view it because it detects the hero as a mobile browser, and so uh, I count this as, as nothing, so we're still one for two. Dave Werner, who's just some random guy, or maybe he isn't, maybe I'm the random guy, because I'm looking at his random website, but he has a, pretty much a portfolio, I think, and like, look, uh, overview of his life, and what his interests are, and stuff, and it's all done And here flash. we go. Wow, that's actually pretty darn cool. Let's open it this way. Very neat. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and the problem here is we can't look at what we're pre I'm trying to not press stuff but drag my finger over stuff cuz let's see if we can use the trackball to do that oh we can there we go right or no was that just selected by default There we go, you can. You can select stuff. It's kind of weird because this is maybe where the uh, the Blackberry Storms browser would be pretty crucial because I couldn't select something without pressing it down. Um, I have no clue what this is. <laughs> I have no clue what that is. That's something on this thing now. Uh, oh, and I press the back button and then it takes me back to the other website because it's Flash. Shoot. So, uh, whatever. It did load. It's just there's a huge difference then now we're finding between loading and interacting with. It could load the flash, but you couldn't interact with it properly because there was a difference between actually touching and mousing over something or trackballing over something and selecting it. Or there should be, but there isn't. 
So looks like we got 50% of that or so. Um, so I guess we're at what, like 1.5 for 3? Does that make sense? Um, pretty cool that it rendered and played the music, but just wish we could have interacted with the site a little better. And what's up next? We've got mini clip games. Games at mini clip that are flash games. Um, so we'll check that out, and then that'll be it. So here we are on miniclip.com with has free games. Um, and it looks like the flash is rendering here. Looks pretty good. Let's zoom out using the pinch and zoom. People were asking about the pinch and zoom and where it works, where it doesn't work. And it works in the browser, works in viewing documents like Google Maps, PDFs, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And that's pretty much it. I don't know where else you'd want it or need it. Um, as far as, I guess, building it into applications is a totally different story that deals with licensing. So let's go and select this uh, little movie or game up here that has the animation. So on the next screen we got to, it looks like Miniclip isn't loading whatever it should be or wants to be. And I think that's the, oops, excuse me, I think that's the actual game. So again, it seems like like uh, the hero flash renderer can can render actual flash that's integrated into the site that's there to look at and see um, and like you can see this flash banner on the side is working perfectly and uh, it's just not you can't interact with it on a more detailed level than just clicking or pressing so uh, games you can't play using flash but uh but it looks like that's a 50% again. So, and you keep, I mean, this is the first time really that we're experiencing flash on this level on a, on a mobile phone and Android. So, um, you got to start somewhere, and I think this is a great start. Um, all the sites that you visit mobily that have flash now integrated into them, not the ones that are solely flash, but you'll be able to get those features, you'll be able to see the site the way it was meant to be seen um, on a desktop or laptop computer. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, HTC Hero, first Android phone uh, with Flash, and I love it. So that's actually one more, so that would be what, 2.5 out of 4.5, something like that. No, it gets 0.5, so it's 2 out of 4, so we're 50%. Um, but yeah, that's Flash on the HTC Hero. Don't expect a ton, but expect your browsing, mobile browsing experience to be um, definitely improved.